Hi folks, this is Ali Nisse, and we've already talked about the EndoSequence uh, file, how it inspired the new, uh, the newly released ESX filing system. And we talked about the two features of the ESX filing system, which were the booster tip and the single stroke and clean technique. And uh, we went over the basic protocol, the basic EndoSequence protocol or technique, which involves getting the canal to a size 1502, then inst uh, instrumenting it with the expediter down to the full working length um, using the SSC motion. And then based on the level of engagement uh, that the expediter goes through on its way down to the apex, you would choose a given finishing file, either a size 25 for severe engagement uh, by the expediter. Um, mild engagement uh, for the expediter results to a size 35 and minimal engagement goes to a size 45. We also mentioned in a previous tutorial that if a 45 reaches the apex and you still feel there is tissue in there, uh, then you can move to an extra large uh, file, called, which is the 5504 ESX file. We believe that 04 is all you need for your instrumentation, and any additional taper uh, required can be achieved, uh, or rather the cleaning uh, can be achieved using ultrasonics, which we're going to do another tutorial on that to discuss that as well. But the basic endosequence protocol will allow you to address somewhere around 75% of your cases. And those are mostly your anterior and premolar cases and some of the easy molars. But some of the more difficult molars and premolars will require some additional help. We're very realistic about that, and that's part of our uh, educational mission at Rebuild Endo is to do responsible education, which means to not just go out there and say, all you need to do is two files to treat all your cases. You know, we're all clinicians and we all understand that you are going to be facing challenges in some of the cases that require to have more than two files. And that's the subject of this tutorial where we're going to talk about the advanced protocol using the uh, ESX files. And that's in those cases where you're going to have a tough time getting your 1502 hand file down to the apex before you use your expediter file. So what do you do in those cases? Well, it's fairly simple. ESX has given you three additional files uh, other than the basic protocol files that will help you get your uh, 1502 uh, shape prior to the use of the expediter. And these are the two scout files and the one orifice opener. So let's say you open a canal and you find that it's a fairly tight canal. What you would then do, and I found for a lot of the molars that I deal with as an endodontist, I do end up having to use the scout files. What I end up doing is I first determine a little bit of patency using either a size 6, 8, or even a 10 hand file. Then I would use a, uh, the orifice opener. The orifice opener on the ESX is a size 20 tip and an 08 taper. And what the 08 taper does, it does give us a little bit of coral enlargement. Now, don't forget that the 08, this 2008 is short, it's about a 17 millimeter file. It's not supposed to go down to the apex. It's only going to give you some coronal enlargement that allows you to have some opening prior to getting um, the mid and the apical part uh, of the canal, handling it. You could use our orifice opener, the ESX orifice opener, or if you prefer to use Gates Glidden's, you can always use Gates Glidden's. That's, as, that's fine as well. Don't forget, this part is still considered part of your access opening because we understand that the current idea of access is based on um, ape, uh, of a straight line access to the apical one-third of the root as opposed to only access to the, uh, to the orifice of the canals. So, you can use the orifice opener or gates or whatever you prefer uh, to get some coronal enlargement in the, uh, in the coronal one-third to mid-root of the root. And then you could instrument the canals to a size basically 10 hand file. And then you would end up using the two scout files. The two scout files that the uh, uh, Rebuild Endo recommended for the ESX are the 1504 and the 1502 files. And the reason for that is we believe that a 15 tip is a safer bet because it's a little bit stronger. And most of the time when you're using files, the, the engagement on the file doesn't really occur at the tip itself. It does occur on the, uh, due to the taper. 
And we believe at Rewaldendo also that you should always have a hand instrument precede a rotary instrument. So if you take a size 8 or a 10 hand file, then your size 1504 and a 1502 is going to be able to get down there much safer. So for the advanced protocol using the ESX uh, file system, what we would recommend at Rewaldendo is to first uh, open up into the chamber and identify the orifice of the canal and you realize that it's tight and you realize that you're going to be using the advanced protocol instead of the basic protocol and you would use an orifice opener first obviously use a couple of hand files to make sure you have a, a canal, a patent canal you just can't, the orifice opener doesn't make a canal for you all it does is it enlarges it laterally where the canal already exists so you would also use the orifice opener in a SSC motion, a single stroke and then wiping it. After using the orifice opener, then we, you do a single stroke of the 1504 followed by a single stroke of the uh, 1502. And uh, if you have used the size 8 hand file down to the apex already, uh, you would notice that the 1504 and the 150, by the time you do one stroke of 1504 and one stroke of 1502, you will very likely already be at the apex with your 1502. And what I sometimes do, I actually put my apex locator right um, on the 1502 and I can measure the length of the uh, canal uh, with the 1502 rotary file in those cases. This of course is a more advanced protocol and I would not recommend this for people that don't have much experience uh, with the files uh, at this point. Uh, but as long as you realize that you'd be using these files with a single stroke and clean with the SSC motion, you will be safe. Um, the other thing that you need to realize is, so basically two rules uh, apply here, SSC on every file. And the second one is that there should always be a stainless steel hand file in advance of your rotary file. So you always should have, but that, that doesn't have to be a size 1502, it, should be, it could be a size 8 or a 10 uh, hand file. But as long as the 8 or 10 hand file are down, then your 1504 and 1502 using SSC will be able to work its way down. So my protocol usually is hand files and then 2008 and then a 1504 and then a 1502 and I'm usually um, most of the time I'm down to the apex already with that protocol using SSC 2008, SSC 1504, SSC 1502 and I can measure my working length at that point. And once the 1502 is down to the apex, now I'm back to the basic protocol. Uh, and in those cases, I do the expediter next, which is the 1505 SSC, and I do that until it gets down to the apex. And once that's to the apex, then I usually, given a tight canal, it would end up being either a size 25 or a 35 for that given canal. And, uh, and that's it, and then I have finished the shaping, and then I'm ready for the obturation using a matching BC cone and uh, using hydraulic condensation. Of course, I would be irrigating between canals profusely, and I will talk also about the use of an ultrasonic for uh, cleaning after my full shaping is done for about 60 seconds in a safe way that would remove any debris and smear layer that may be left on the canal walls and into the fissures around the tooth. Well, folks, I think that sums it up. Uh, we've talked about the ESX file system, its features, and the basic and advanced protocol for its use clinically. And uh, I will also add a couple of additional tutorials on the specific motion that is needed for, uh, this, uh, for this file, as well as some uh, irrigation and use of ultrasonics to enhance your overall protocol and improve the efficiency of the case for you. Well, for Real Dendo, I'm Ali Nase, and I hope you found the series of tutorials using the ESX file helpful. <laughs>